today we're going to do a potato challenge. We're going to check and see what the ingestion of 100 grams of white potatoes boiled will have on my fasted blood glucose levels. We're going to be measuring um, my state of ketosis with the Biosense breath analyzer shown here. It is going to give us a reading in ACEs, that's seven here, seven ACEs, which is the amount of acetone in my breath. It correlates to roughly 0.7 millimoles per liter of beta hydroxybutyrate. We're testing the blood sugar, as you showed there, with the Freestyle Libre device, and my pre-test uh, blood sugar level was 98. Um, we're going to measure out uh, relatively exactly the uh, 100 grams of white potatoes and test uh, initially 30 minutes after we start ingesting that. Uh, 30 minutes out from our potato challenge, we go from 98 to a blood sugar level of 153, that's a pretty steep amount. 30 minutes later, it's 113 at one hour after the test. And then when we go out two full hours after the start of the test, we're at 86. For those wondering why I put a video like this together, um, this is my own personal health exploration. You're welcome to come along for the ride and maybe find some value in it. Um, this video and several others are to test the effects of this device. It's a continuous glucose monitor, uh, CGM, made by Freestyle Libre. And I've been wearing it um, now off and on for the better part of six months. I want to see the effect on my glycemic uh, response to specific carbohydrate boluses. So I'm going to use uh, white rice, brown rice, um, potatoes, some of the common things that people uh, will use as a carbohydrate adjunct when they are uh, mixing their macros. Um, I am on a ketogenic diet, have been for four to five years. The reason being is I have a genetic predisposition to earlier onset of Alzheimer's disease and I'd like to do what I can from an epigenetic perspective to stave that off. Um, the other details that might be worthwhile for you knowing as I go through these videos, I am a 59 year old male with uh, at a body weight of about 153 and have never had a weight problem uh, at all. Uh, prior to starting all of these items, uh, despite four to five years ago, despite considering myself um, to be quite healthy. I am a chiropractic physician by training and have always tried to exercise and, and have a good diet, but I was pre-diabetic. Um, so uh, this has been an interesting exploration to see about my blood sugar response to various items over time. Uh, I am happy to say that it has changed. Part of the reason for that is the ketogenic diet. In addition to that, I use time-restricted feeding at a 16-8 protocol. That's 16 hours of not eating and eight hours, uh, an eight-hour window during which I try to consume uh, around 2,100 calories on a daily basis. Uh, I work out uh, four to seven days weekly. Uh, that's primarily at this point a bit of resistance exercise should be more but I very consistently run for uh, three to five miles on a daily basis. Um, the caveat on the time restricted feeding is I do have a cup of coffee with cream uh, in the morning um, within that 16 hour period so it's not truly a 16 hour time off of everything. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to um, respond down here and I will do my level best to try to, to get back to you.